So this video is on a repair of a MacBook Air. Um, it was having a, a non-responsive mouse and keyboard. It was actually after you log in. Um, it would actually work, strangely enough. When you think hardware, uh, you would think that it would actually not work throughout, but it, it was working at a login screen. And then you would log in and it would stop working uh, both mouse and keyboard. So uh, I went ahead and actually ended up reformatting this hard drive, uh, making sure it wasn't anything software related. <clears throat> and then found out um, that it was this flex cable, which is a common problem. So looking at the flex cable, you do see some charring on the end of the cable. Um, the customer who actually took this uh, into a professional place, um, I'm not going to call them out completely, but uh, their local MacBook repair or computer repair place and got a few quotes. Both were around 400 plus, which is ridiculous. Uh, you can see they actually put liquid spill on there, which seems hilarious because there wasn't any liquid damage uh, to the logic board um, or to anything internally. It was just the default cable, like a faulty cable, um, which I'll actually put a link in the description. You can get this cable online for $9 uh, through Amazon. So one $9 cable and that's a fix for you. So super easy fix. We're going to go through this real quick. Knock this out uh, in a few minutes, really. So I'll actually show you the, this is the kit that I also purchased on Amazon. It's only about 30 bucks. You can do a lot of uh, re electronic repairs with this. It includes a lot of different ends. The end you're going to need for this uh, specific MacBook, which is a MacBook Air. Um, this is a late, early 2015 model. I'll actually put the specs up in just a second. Um, it's a 1.2. It looks like a star. Um, I know the actual screw itself almost looks like a clover as like it's kind of rounded ends um, but the star 1.2 size actually does work we're gonna start the repair actually by removing the back plate the two back center screws are longer uh, so do be aware of that and I always suggest using some kind of container to make sure you don't lose any screws the nice thing is this screwdriver set is magnetic so it's gonna help you out um, just put those aside for now, take off that back plate, and set that aside for now. Once we have the back plate open, you're going to want to locate the battery plug and unplug the battery. That just makes sure that we don't have any power running through the device and we're not going to do any damage while we're in here messing around. Next step, go ahead and take your T5 Torx screwdriver head and start removing the battery harness. There's going to be total of five screws, the one in the center and the two closest to the back of the MacBook are going to be longer, so do be aware when putting them back. Next go ahead and remove the battery and battery harness all together and set that aside for later. Now locate your flex cable. You're going to want to push up on the back side of where the cable goes in, there's a little flap before you pull it out. So using tweezers, your finger, uh, you can go ahead and flip up the back side, a little tab will come up, and then you can pull out the cable. There's a little adhesive on the cable. Um, you can go ahead and just pull it right off and it'll come right out. Then you want to insert your new cable using the same method. Push the cable in and push down the tab. Sometimes these will come pre-folded, sometimes not, um, as well as you can add the adhesive to have it stick down and make it look all pretty. Now, huge step here. There is a wrong way and right way to put the cable in. Uh, you wanna make sure it's facing the right direction where the copper side is actually facing down. I have a sweet picture here which will show you the wrong and right way to do it. I actually uh, ended up putting this in incorrectly the first time and it pissed me off. But then I went back and flipped the cable around and voila, it works perfect. So uh, make sure you 
learn from my mistake and um, have the copper side facing down. So you want the black side um, up when putting the cable in. Once the cable is pushed in, the tabs are pushed down. Adhesive if you'll want. Go ahead and put everything back together. Make sure your battery is plugged in and powered up and be happy. Because now you have saved lots of money. It only cost you $9 and a few minutes of your time to fix your MacBook Air. Oh, and be sure to clean off that pesky repair tag or repair sticker from the repair place. This is Ryan Duckworth from imducky.com. Thank you for watching.